in this session let us talk about the data types in java let us also understand what are variables literals enum and what is typecasting let us start with the data types what are the two different data types available in java primitive data types are inbuilt data types reference data types are user defined data types let us start with the primitive data types they are integer types floating point types character and boolean and for reference data types they are array class and string class is what you are going to create string is an inbuilt class in java array is what you are going to create so we will be discussing about these three in the upcoming session now we will see only the primitive data types let me start with the primitive data types integer types floating point numbers character and boolean in integer types you have got byte short int and long byte is of type 8 bits short is 16 int is 32 long is 64 in floating point float is 32 that is single precision uh, double is 64 that is double precision and for character it is char for boolean it is boolean b lower case these are all the data types next let us move on to a variable basically if you want to assign a value to a variable how do you give say data type variable equal to value so we have discussed what is the data type the next thing is a variable what is a variable variable is a container which is going to hold a value for the java program so you have given the data type you are just going to specify the variable it has got some uh, cans and cons we will discuss that equal to value you are not supposed to specify this as value it is actually called as a literal you can have a look over here these are all valid variable names and these are all invalid variable names so int is the data type and bonus amount is the variable name what is the next part the next part is a literal what is the meaning of a literal what value you are going to give for your variable depending upon the data type only you can give value to your variable if it is of float you have to give give with decimal point if it is of type boolean you have to give either true or false if it is of integer in integer itself you have got three numbering systems like uh, three four four numbering systems binary decimal octal hexadecimal if it is the case how to give a value let us discuss about literals now have a look integer data types if it is this decimal you can give it directly you can see i am just giving it directly and if it is an octal always start with a zero what will be the equivalent value the equivalent value in decimal is actually 28 the moment it sees zero the compiler understands that this is not a decimal number this is an octal number and what about binary for binary i can i have to start with 0b 1100 the equivalent value is given over here and what about hexadecimal always i have to start with 0x it can be lower case x or upper case x what will happen if i give int y is equal to 0 129 because we are starting with 0 the compiler will understand that this is an octal number but you are ending it with a 9 which is not available in octal system so automatically it will give a compiler error and what about this one if i give 0b 129 again it will accept only zeros and ones because it is a binary number so here also it will give a compiler and i mean compiler error same with the case with hexadecimal so this is for integer data types what about byte byte should be within the range like it, it should be within minus 128 to plus 128 so within the range short within the range what about long long if you want to specify a value as a long you have to embed upper case l or lower case l what will happen if i give long y is equal to 23 whatever value you are giving here is of type in meaning to say that it is going to take 32 bits and what about long is of type 64 bits so this is a smaller number that is it is taking a smaller value 32 bits and you are trying to accommodate to an upper value long y which is of uh, size 64 bits will it accommodate of course yes 
we will be learning about a concept called as stochastic wherein you will really understand what is the consequences if it is not adapting so i am having a smaller value which is of 32 bits don't see the number 23 i am talking about the size it can be very well ad accommodated to law so it will accept but in this case if you give 345 l or 23 l the number is 23 but the bits is 64 bits so by the default itself when it is getting created it will be 64 bits which is being accommodated by y next is floating point types in java by default all the decimal numbers are double in nature what is the meaning of it suppose say if i write one i mean 12.3 it's a very small value but still it is taking 64 bits so you have to specify it only as double so double x is equal to 12.3 what if i want to have only single precision i want this to be declared as float only so in that case you have to say float f is equal to or any variable name float a equal to 12.3 f if you don't give a f it means this is 64 this is uh, 32 it will give you a compiler error that is if i am giving float a is equal to 12.3 you are trying to accommodate 64 bits into 32 bits which is not possible so you have to end it with a lower case f or upper case f that is what i have done over here 23.4 lower case f or upper case f what about double double either with d or without d it will work fine and here 45.9 without d and with d d can be either in upper case or lower case so in case of literals integer data types if you want to give normal integer value that is decimal values give it directly if it is octal you have to start with zero if it is binary you have to start with 0b if it is hexadecimal you have to start with 0x and in case of byte and short remember the range in case of law you have to end it with lower case l or upper case l if you are not ending with lower case or upper case l if you are giving a value which is accommodated within the integer range it will be integer which can be accommodated by long easily in case of floating point number uh, by default all the decimal numbers are double in nature they take 64 bits if you want to declare float then in that case you have to embed it with lower case or append it with lower case f or upper case f next is character what about character character is used for initial representation of characters if i want to use backslash double quotes single quotes new line for all those we are going in for character see so have a look double backslash if you give it is used for backslash slash b is backspace if i want to add double quotes within say i want to say like um, welcome priya if i want to put this priya within double quotes so in that case i have to use slash double quotes and that slash single quotes is available to so print it in a new line if i want to print some text in the new line if i say welcome this will be printed in the same line welcome okay uh, welcome back this will be printed in the same line what if i want to print this in the second line i can write welcome slash backslash n back so what it will do the moment it is seeing slash n character automatically it will understand that it has to go to the next line so welcome will be printed in the first line back will be printed in the next line slash t is used for giving tab space i have given a simple example string s you know that string is a class it can also be used as a data type i want to print string s welcome to java within double quotes so how to give you can see within double quotes i have again given slash double quotes can you see this i will write it again so i want to print welcome to java within double quotes so how to uh, use this i can say string yes is equal to so this is the double quotes which indicates that this is of type string but still when i want to see the output i want to see it as welcome to java within double quotes so i can say slash double quotes slash backslash double quotes so automatically it will print within double quotes welcome to java so that is the use of character data type you can also go in for single characters within single quotes okay boolean 
the boolean can take either true or false values the default value is false each data type is having its own default value in case of uh, in the short long everything is going to have zero and in case of um, um, character it is slash zero u and in case of uh, boolean the default value is false in case of string the default value is null in case of double and float the default value is for double it is 0.0 for float it is 0.0f so this is all about the literal now let us understand the concept of or the usage of underscore in numeric literals in any language any programming language when we want to represent rupees or number we have to give the value directly say for example if i want to write 12345 i cannot use 12 comma 345 to a value of uh, i mean as a value to in data type because comma is not recognized so i have to give it as 12345 which will be assigned to one in data type but with the use of this underscore i can group my numbers just like how you do an in indian or international numbering system you can group them by using an underscore let us see it with an example long credit card number i want to group as a group of four so i am just giving 120 1 2 3 4 _5678 and it goes on same way for ss and social security number i have given it for a hexadecimal number also i have given it so you have to decide how the grouping has to be done and in that place you have to introduce this underscore this underscore has to be used in a proper manner you cannot use underscore in the end or in the starting or before a decimal point or after a decimal point or before the uh, suffix in the end is wrong after x starting point is also wrong before or after the decimal point is also wrong then before the suffix that is before l is also wrong next let us move on to enum enum is a special data type it comes with predefined set of values say for example if i want to give uh, the days in a week from uh, sunday to saturday or if i want to give the months in a year from jan to december in that case rather than going in for an array i can go in for enum because enum is going to have a set of predefined constants you can just have a look enum is the data type and how to declare a enum just like a class you specify enum the enum name curly braces within which you are giving the predefined set of values what is the use of it it means that whoever is going to use this enum they are they can use only these predefined set of values in case of variable the value changes in case of enum it is a predefined set of constants the value will not change it can take the values Uh, from monday to saturday only in this case enums by default extend java.lang.enum we will be doing few programs in enum once we are comfortable with the data types next let us understand what is type casting and type conversion so here you know all the data types primitive data types what is the smallest one byte then short then in then long okay then you have got float and uh, double and what about the char char also is there so this is the data type engine now let us understand about upcasting what is upcasting when you are trying to put a smaller value into a bigger data type upcasting happens automatically that is what i was talking about earlier i have given law law y equal to 40 directly what is this 40 40 is of type integer only it is taking 32 bytes when i am trying to assign it to a long value automatically it is getting upcasted to 64 bits so when the target data type is greater than that of the source upcasting happens automatically one more example you can see that int y equal to 40 so this is of 32 bits this is also of 32 bits not an issue at all then next line long x is equal to y so here the target data type is greater than the source so automatically upcasting happens so same way we can see in few more examples here i can write float f is equal to 12.3f then double y equal to 
f into 2. So I am trying to multiply it. Automatically upcasting happens. From the source, I mean the target data type is greater than that of the source. So upcasting happens automatically. I don't have to do it explicitly. Now let me come to the downcasting part. In case of downcasting, see a small example. I am just reversing it. Long y equal to 40. So here upcasting happens. Next I have got int x. Now I want to say int x is equal to y. Is it possible? No, I cannot do that because here the target data type is smaller than that of the source. So how I can accommodate? So for that what we will do is we can write int x is equal to I have given y. To what data type you want to convert in? So I can downcast it to in. So if the target data type is smaller than that of the source, you need to explicitly do the downcasting. Okay. Uh, one more example also I will just show you here. Now I have got float x is equal to 12.3. It is of type double. I have to downcast it. So to what data type I want? I want to convert it into float. So I can downcast it to float. So, if the target data type is greater than that of the source, automatically upcasting happens or if this is also called as automatic conversion. If the target data type is smaller than that of the source, in that case, you need to downcast it by using the same target data type. In our case, here it is float. In this case, it is int. I am trying to convert a long into a int. So, to wind up, in this session, we have seen what are the data types, what is a variable, what is the use of literal and enum and finally ended up with typecasting. That's it. Thank you.